Hello, I want to show you the setup that I have <clears throat> to filter waste, waste motor oil. This oil, I use it on a, have a 2001 7.3 uh, E350 4 van. So I've been using waste motor oil probably since 2014-15. And I've been putting probably 200,000 miles on two vans. First, I got one, a one uh, 1998 E350 7.32 uh, Ford. I put 150,000 miles on that one. I didn't have any problems. I never, never ever removed the uh, injectors. Never have any have any problems with the engine just normal uh, wear and tear in uh, other parts but not the engine the engine was always running running good then about 2000 it, it broke down the 98 broke down I didn't want to fix it because uh, I got too much rust so I um, bought another 2001 E three fifty four, and I've been putting I bought it with two two hundred and ten thousand miles, and now it has two thousand I mean two hundred and thirty thousand forty thousand miles. So I've been uh, doing this for uh, quite some time. Try everything, all types of oil, but vegetable. Here in uh, the Baltimore area where I am you cannot get vegetable oil from restaurants because they have to have a contract with a company that has to go and pick it up because a lot of restaurants were uh dumping their oil on the on the uh sewer and the sewer was uh, getting clogged up with the, all the grease and everything so now every restaurant here in baltimore if you want to open a restaurant you want to get a license <clears throat> You have a ha you have to have a contract with a company that is gonna pick up your uh, vegetable oil. So vegetable oil was not reachable, not out of the question. So I tried uh, West Motor Oil, and uh, yeah, it worked. Van was running good uh, all year round, summer, winters. Uh, it was a little bit hard to, to start on winter, but uh, I got I installed two block heaters on my on the engine. So probably an hour before I was leaving, I uh, plug in the uh, the block heaters and uh, that helped a lot. So this is my setup. Now I'm gonna kind of ready to start cleaning this uh, batch of oil. This oil is not that dirty, but it has a lot of water on it. Um, yeah, humidity, water. So, let's start with this. This is the tank that I use to uh, to put the oil that I'm going to clean. I have a sock heater here. You can see it. Oh, I got a filter there. I got to filter there. So yeah, as uh, so heater here just to uh, to screen all the bigger uh, parts like washers and uh, plastic cups, just the bigger parts. <clears throat> now I know I'm not getting uh, oil that dirty, but at the beginning when I'm trying to get oil from any any. Uh, Mechanical show, I used to get a lot of dirt. So I run it here first. That is clean the big parts and it goes to the tank. Once the tank is full, <clears throat> I start heating it up. Before that, I'm going to explain you what, how, how, I mean, all the whole setup. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the tank with the oil ready to, to clean. So right here, I got an outlet on the tank, this one here. 
in this one here. I weld it to the tank, get a 90 valve. And this valve uh, goes all the way here to this electrical electric pump. Then this electric pump pump it comes out here. The hose is kind of big. I mean long, so that's why following it goes to my uh, homemade heater. So this is I think it's inch and a half a regular pipe metal pipe it's inch and a half regular uh, metal pipe I got some attachments here that I made to screw the uh, hidden element this hidden element is the same as the one uh, uh, we use for uh, water heaters so this is the uh, welding that I did weld this the weld the, the, the hole that comes from the tank or is from the from the electric motor tank electric motor heater it goes up I got one uh, heating element there and one heating element here I'm gonna make another video just to show you how I made this but this I cut uh, 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 a piece of uh, a black pipe coupling weld it here and this is the hidden element that is cruised to the um, to this uh, DIY uh, heater. So from the heater, got this little trap just in case there is some uh, metal or big parts that can uh, stay here and um, later on and open it and um, flush it. But it's just for little metal parts. Goes to my. Uh, Thermometer, that's the temperature right now. That when it reach, well, we got some thermometer just to show me what is the uh, temperature of the uh, of the uh, oil that I'm running because I don't have a uh, I don't have a uh, switch for this uh, heater to turn on and off. So sometimes I connect it to two ten or one twenty. Depending on how much temperature I got here, if if the, well, to start like the temperature right now, I do 220 to circulate the oil, so you can heat up the oil really fast when it reaches uh, 220 uh, degrees. I switch this heater on the electrical panel to 120, but I gotta do it manually. There is nothing to uh, to turn this off automatically so I gotta do everything manually so that's why I need this thermometer to just to show me what is the temperature of the oil that I'm uh, heating up <coughs> then we go here we got a T this T goes to a uh, to the sock sock uh, uh, scream so I use this when I bring in oil from outside or bring in oil from this tank. So this is the, the hose that I use on this tank. This is one of the valves. Close this one that is from the tank. Open this one, suck the, uh, the oil from the tank that I've uh, uh, sitting here. <clears throat> so this oil goes the same same part that the uh, the all the oil goes electric motor heater and then because this oil has some impurities still I haven't uh, 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 screened it at all it's just raw oil from the from the mechanical shop that I just dumped here just to let it sit for uh, I don't know a week two weeks three weeks whatever so it has some impurities so instead of a uh, going directly to my tank I take it all the way to the sock uh, filter so this is raw oil unfiltered oil so that's why I have to take it instead of uh, dump it to the to the uh, to the barrel uh, directly I go to the sock filter so this is the bulb for the sock uh, filter 
when I'm uh, like this uh, full tank is full close this one and open this one this is open so I open this one just to circulate the oil over and over and over and over uh, to, to hit it